Hi, I'm Mike, a senior scientist at AdGene. In this video, we will show you how to count cells using a hemocytometer. This protocol begins after our cells have been trypsinized and collected. To learn more about that process and tissue culture in general, please see our video on getting started with tissue culture. We've broken this video up into two main components for ease of use. The laboratory work involving setting up the hemocytometer and counting the cells, followed by the calculations you'll need to determine your cell density. To count cells, we will need a microscope, a hemocytometer, a micropipette with tips, and optionally, a cell counting device. If you don't have a cell counting device, you can simply keep track of your cell count with pen and paper. Using your micropipette, withdraw 10 microliters of your trypsinized cells and add them to a microfuge tube. Next, mix 10 microliters of Tripan Blue with 10 microliters of cellular suspension. Tripan Blue is a reagent that distinguishes living cells from dead ones because it can cross the membrane of dead cells and stain them blue. Once mixed, withdraw 10 microliters of the Tripan Blue cellular suspension using the micropipette. Gently expel the 10 microliter suspension into the hemocytometer. Place the hemocytometer onto the microscope and allow the cells to settle for two or three minutes. Using the 10 times objective, look into the microscope to view the chamber of the hemocytometer containing the cellular suspension. Adjust the coarse focus knobs until you see grid lines come into focus. The hemocytometer chamber is made up of nine equally sized squares arranged in a 3x3 three three pattern. To begin counting, choose a square and move the hemocytometer such that all four sides of the square are within your field of view. Now you may begin counting your cells manually or with the help of a counting device. Count all of the cells that you see inside of the square, keeping track of both the viable, clear cells and the non-viable, blue ones. To account for cells that touch the edges, we can count all of the cells that touch two out of the four sides of the square. To make sure you do this in an unbiased way, choose the same two sides for every square you count. For an accurate count, you'll want to have somewhere between about 20 to 100 cells per square in the grid so that the cells can be easily distinguished. If your suspension is too concentrated, you may dilute it and account for that later in your calculations. Repeat this counting procedure for the next square and several more squares if you wish. In general, the more cells you count, the more accurate your calculated concentration will be. Once you've finished counting cells in the desired number of squares, calculate the average number of viable cells per square by dividing the total number of viable cells by the total number of squares counted. Take the number above and multiply it by your dilution factor. In this case, our dilution factor is 2, since we diluted the cellular suspension 1 to 1 in Tripan Blue. Finally, multiply the number above by 10 to the 4th to obtain the number of viable cells per milliliter of media. Now that you know your cell concentration, you are ready to begin your experiments. If you are working with a reusable hemocytometer, it can be rinsed with water, further cleaned with a solution of 70% alcohol, and stored for future use. Thank you for watching our video on counting cells using a hemocytometer. We hope you find it useful as you perform the process yourself. For more protocol videos, please visit AdGene's protocol playlist on AdGene's YouTube channel. To browse all of AdGene's written protocol content, please visit adgene.org protocols. AdGene, a better way to share science.